This conference will now be recorded. Hi, uh, this is uh, Venkat. Uh, I am around uh, 10 plus years of experience in IT. Uh, so I'm going to teach in uh, uh, IBM uh, data stage, the ETL tool. Okay. So the daily class timings, uh, 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. Uh, today I'm going to take a demo class. Okay. So why we need to learn IBM Data Stage ETL tool team? Anyone having idea? So see, if you're learning something, uh, we need to get some benefit, right? So if you learn this technology, so what are the uses? What are the benefits? I will uh, get it. Uh, anyone having idea team? So, what is the use of learning this technology? What, how much is useful for you? Anyone having idea team? Are you able to see my screen? No, I did. Okay. So, are you able to see my screen now? Yes, yes. Yeah. So we need to learn IBM data stage ETL tool, right? Why we need to learn this technology? Okay, anyone having idea? If you're learning something, we need to get some benefit, right? Without benefit, uh, no use for learning. Uh, see, there is a number of languages like uh, C, C++, Java, Oracle, Snowflake, Talent, SAP BBDS, Informatica, there is a multiple technologies are there in the market uh, python java full stack so so why we need to learn this technology means so this is a tool this is the uh, ibm is developed the tool this is the tool no coding required no coding required so easy to learn it easy to learn it Okay, we can easily learn this technology. So it's not uh, difficult to learn. It is very, very easy to learn this technology. So anyway, you have learned the course. So we need to bet, get some benefit, right? So there is a n number of openings are there in the market. N number of openings are there in all MSs. Like TCS, Wipro, H, Wipro HCL. Delight, okay, Delight, SLK, Cognizant, Accenture, IBM, IBM, for every, for every month they will recruit this uh, technology because of, they have a number of projects in IBM. This, this is the one product of IBM. That's why. So IBM all ETL tools means always most of the time they will use as a data stage ETL tool. Okay, so LNT, ITC Infotech. There is a, every company having lot of openings, guys. Okay, so so compare with the other technologies, it is easy to learn it, easy to get the job because of openings are good, more openings in the market. So that's why. If you learn this technology, you will get 100% job. 100% you will get the job. So that's why we need to learn the data state tool. Compare with package side. Package. Package wise. Package also very good for data stage. Package is very good package you will get it. Okay. So that's why we need to learn. So data stage tool, US, US it's a very good market. USA, there is a USA, Singapore. Okay. So I have my friends in USA. So they are working a couple of years. There are a lot of openings are there. Good market, Switzerland, Canada, USA. Okay. Singapore, Malaysia, they have a lot of openings for this technology. Data stage openings are there. So that's why you may get chance to work on on-site also. Okay, remote. Maybe you may get chance to work on directly uh, USA, 
Singapore. Okay, so if you learn this technology very good, so they have a lot of opportunity, good opportunities are there. That's why we need to learn the IBM Data Stage ETL tool. Okay, so is it clear, team? Why we need to learn this technology? So along with Data Stage, we have to learn Basic SQL, Basic SQL, some Unix commands. We have to learn it. So along with the data warehousing concept. Okay, so I am going to teach everything. Full package I will provide it. We will provide your installation. Okay, so we will provide the data stage along with the SQL Oracle. I will provide it. Okay, so along with how to connect Terra data, how to get the data from Terra data. So SQL Server, uh, DB2, Oracle. So Unix, I will cover it. Data warehousing concept, full package I will provide, guys. Full package. You no need to go anywhere in uh, outside of. Uh, after learning this course in from my institute, from Nandini, software solutions, private limited. It is available in Bangalore, Maratali. We have. Offline and online both at a time 8 30 a.m. to 9 30 a.m. We are conducting. Okay, so See in The Nandini software we are going to cover different technologies along with I'm going to teach data stage and talent uh, along with Oracle and Unix Okay, other uh, resource they're teaching the different technologies. So so we are providing real-time project explanation Prod, along with interview online and offline sessions I am conducting each class recording I will provide you guys each class after my class is done after one hour I will download the recording video I will upload you in the some drive so I will give the drive access so if you miss the class it is useful for you along with I will cover real-time scenarios I have around 50 scenarios are there around 40 to 50 scenarios are there I will cover that 50 scenarios. If you learn this 50 scenarios, you will get the job. You don't need to. So along with materials, I will provide resume preparation, mock interviews, doubts and clarification. Anytime you can call me between 10 to 7. Anytime. So I am reachable for this number. 9538160185. This is the my phone bay number, WhatsApp number. Okay. So I will cover this around 50 to 100. 60 questions, intro questions and answers. So most of the questions will come from that. Whichever I'm going to cover, intro questions and answer. 50 to 60 questions I will cover it. So most of the time, those questions only they will ask it. Okay. So so any doubts, team, so far? So this is the my uh, number, guys. If you are interested for regular classes, you can connect this number at any time, 9538. 160185. Okay. So let me go for the data stage. Let me cover some sample examples. Okay. So let me go for the data stage. So see, guys, data stage is the ETL tool, right? ETL means extract the data, extract the data from the source, apply some condition. That is the T means transformation. Apply some condition. Transformation means apply some condition, some business rule. Okay, L means load it. Okay, load means that is the target. I want to load into somewhere. We'll read the data from that different types of source system. We'll read it. Then we will apply some conditions, some business rule. Then we will save into the somewhere. That is called as a target system. Okay. So for that case, we are using the data stage tool. Let me log in data stage. So we will explain you how to install it in the regular classes. So there is a designer client. By using the designer client, I can develop the data stage jobs. Okay. So let me log in the designer. So double click the designer client. This is called as a IBM InfoSphere data stage and quality stage, guys. Okay. 
so so we have to log in that id and password so let me click the login button so after logging it will open the designer workspace where we have to develop the data stage jobs so this is called as a designer workspace we have to use some stages in the data stage we can call as a some stages based on the stages we have to achieve the customer requirement okay so for example my requirement is let me take one sample example then we will uh, analyze it so le so let me go for one folder so let me log let me go for this folder so so let me let me go for the some source so this is the my source assume that so i have some source let me open the source file let me go for the some source it is available in so so assume that this is the my source guys okay so let me make it this, yes yeah madam yeah madam yeah yes is i have some data i have i have some data okay so i want to read this file i want to read this file you can keep on mute okay if you have any doubts you can ask me at any time so this is the some data i have okay so this is the my source so well, employee number employee name job salary commission dept number okay how many records are there in this file team how many records 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight record. Okay, it is not nine records because the first record is a column names, employee number, employee name, job, salary, commission, DPT number. It is having some records. That record is eight records. Now I want to read this eight records. In data stage, I want to read. this eight records this file this is the text file right this is the text file right guys when i open this file this is a text file right dot txt file i want to read this dot txt file i want to read this text file i want to load into another file another text file i want to generate it okay while generating the text file i want to load only dpt number 10 records i want to load it there is a one text file this is called as a source i want to read this text file okay i want to load into another text file So when i loading into the text file i want to load only dept number 10 records okay so dept number 10 how many records are there in this file team how many records are there so here dept oh. number 10 these two records only i want to load it okay let me change here see i will change here also 10 So total, how many records will load now? How many records? Three records. Okay. So I want to load only DPT number. I don't want load other than that DPT number ten records. That is my requirement. So now, how to do in that data stage? We'll see now. IBM InfoSphere data stage. How to do in that? We'll see now. This is the text file, right? I want to read the text file. in data stage means we have to use sequential file we have to use sequential file i want to read the text file in data stage means we have to use sequential file we have to use sequential file by using the sequential file i can read the text files now i want to load into another text file right i want to generate the output as a text file right 
So for that case also, we have to use sequential file. By using the sequential file, I can generate the text files. Now, between, there is a, some condition, right? What is the condition, team? DEPT number equal to 10, right? So I want to get the only DEPT number 10 records means in data stage, we have to use filter stage. By using the filter stage, I can get only particular conditions. I can write the some condition, where condition. By using the some condition, I, I can get the required data by using the filter stage. Okay, total how many stages we have to use, team? Sequential file for reading, filtering purpose, filter stage, generating the output file, sequential file. These are the three components we have to use, three stages we have to use it and we have to develop the job. How to develop it, we'll see now. Let me go for the designer. By using the designer, data stage designer, client, who can develop the data stage job. So now I want to create a new job first, right? How to create a new job, we'll see now. So let me go for the file. So there is a new, there is a file menu. There is a new option is there. We have to click the new. So there is a parallel job is there. We have to select what is parallel job and all we'll discuss in the regular classes. Okay, let me click the parallel. Click the OK. So now the designer workspace is open. Now I have to take the input component and output component like output stages. So then we have to develop, right? So for that case, first file, right? File stage, right? So there is a, this is a palette, guys. In the palette, we can get the some stages. In the palette, we can get the some stages. So there is a file stage is there, right? Click the file. So there is a, so what is the input? I want to read it. I want to read the data text file. Means what is the stage? I have to use it, guys. Sequential file, right? That's what I have told you. Sequential file, I have to take as the input. Now I want to generate another output, right? Text file. What is the stage I have to use? To generate the output also, we have to use the same sequential file. We have to use as a same sequential file for output also. Now, between, I want to generate the, uh, I want to apply the some condition, right? So for that case, there is a processing section. So there is a one option, filter, filter stage. By using the filter stage in the processing section, there is a filter stage is there. By using the filter stage, I can filter the data. Now, so I have taken the stages. Now I have to give the links between the stages. I want to process the data means we have to give the mapping link, right? Same like that. So we have to, how to give the links between one stage to another stage. Okay. So, so there is a two ways we can do it. There is a general, there is a link option is there. In the general, in the palette sec section, there is a general there is a link option is there. By using the link option, I can give the links between the stages. Okay. So now from filter stage to output also, I have to give the link, right? How to give that? General, click the link button. Let me give the links between the filter stage and the sequential file. So now I have given the links between the stages. Now what I have to do? I have to define the properties guys after giving the links between the stages what i have to do i have to give the properties i have to define the properties how to define the properties means okay let me go for the source what is the source sequential file right double click the sequential file okay so double click the sequential file it is loading wait for some time so we need to wait for some time Double click the sequential file. After clicking the sequential file, it is waiting for some time. Let me wait for some time. Okay, now it is asking some properties right here. There is a file, there is a column names, and all. It is asking, right, which file I want to read it. So I have to browse that file, right? So it is there in that uh, documents. It is there in the documents, right? So this file is available. When I go for my source, okay, so when I go for my source, so it is there in that documents, 
venkata data stage source okay so here it is available this file right so i want to browse this path how to browse it we'll see now let me go for the data stage click the file so there is a one option browse button when you click this option there is a browse for file we need to browse the file where the source file is there we need to browse this file let me go for here so let me go for the source okay so there is a tmap giants like let me go for here there is a emp t giant right so this is the file i want read it we need to select this file click this select now so when i open this file is there first record is a data or column names guys first record is a data or column names column names column names so what are the column names team employee number employee name job salary commission dpt number this is a not a data this is the column names metadata structure we can call as a structure employee number 101 employee name is venkat job is a c salary is 5000 commission is 500 dpt number equal to 10 for identity Purpose, they have created as a column names okay so this is a column name. first record is a column names means how to define it in data stage so there is a one option right first line is column names by default as a false my file having column names means we have to make as a true we have to make as a true guys how to make as a true there is a drop down let me select the true okay i have defined the file name and the column names is it clear now now after that we have to go for the format so section so there is a delimiter what is the delimiter in this file my file so one column to another column so one column to another column something is separator the separator is called as a delimiter what is the delimiter in this file team comma employee number comma employee name comma job comma salary comma commission comma dpt number it is called as a delimiter is comma so we have to select field here delimiter comma by default delimiter comma no need to change anything so there is a one option guys quote see in this file is there any quotes are coming team like this double quotes or single quotes is it coming team Is, is is anything is coming team no see it is not coming any quotes double quotes means like this is coming any double quotes anything is coming no so that's why we have to select nothing here so is there any quotes are available in this file any quotes are available in this file team no so we have to go here quotes section so there is a single quotes or a double quotes none so in my file my source file we don't have any quotes that's why we have to select none now so we have go for the column section we have to we have to define the columns what is the first file first column name employee number second column name third column name sal uh, next column name right this column names i have to define here manually we can write it or automatically also we can import it see here only five columns are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 columns i can write manually uh, suppose assume that i have 50 columns 100 columns it is difficult to write manually right so for that case we have to import the we have to import the columns how to import the columns we'll see now so there is a load section are you able to see button guys load section i'm i'm not going for manually directly i'm going for automation so there is a load button click the load button so we have to click uh, there is a table definition guys so right click the table definition so there is a one option import table definition this is a sequential file right text file right we have to use right click the table definition import table definition there is a one option sequential file definition we have to select the sequential file definition so now so let me browse the path where that file is available so in the team app giants click the okay button so which is the file i want imported guys so it is available so src emp this is the file tgiant file i have to import this file 
okay so there is import option right Di directly import it so now field separator comma is there any first line is column names first line is having columns guys so that's why if it is first line having column names we have to select this checkbox we have to select the checkbox okay suppose my file having different delimiter we have to define here tab space other delimiter means we can define here so my file having comma so that's why by default it is there comma i'm not changing anything my file having column names that's why i'm selecting the first line is a column names now let me click that define nothing see automatically is coming right i'm not changing anything automatically so first line is employee number see my file also employee number second name employee name job see automatically is came whether i have i am not changing anything so click okay button okay yes click yes i have file is already there let me click yes button okay now click the close button so now let me expand it go for the sequential file in the source okay so that is the file is there so we need to select the map joins let me go for the employee t join click the okay button okay so click the okay button okay so now so automatically my structure is came let me click the okay button so now i have defined the my source properties now so what is the my, my condition guys double click that filter stage what is the my condition guys what is the my condition d p t number equal to 10 d e p t number equal to 10 d e p t number equal to 10 i have to write the condition now so let me go for the c so d e p t number equal to 10 i have written the condition my condition i have written here now let me go for the output section so the left side is called as the input columns right side is called as a output column so i need to drag copy the input columns to the output i have to map it how to map it we'll see now so let me so select this one all the columns i want to drag drag and drop means select this button there is a blue color right so let me select this one drag into the my output section all the columns it is copied okay this is the one to one mapping i am did it so now after copying input columns to the output we have to click the okay button so now i have to generate the output files right how to generate the output file double click the sequential file so let me there is a file button so let me browse that file there is a browse the file so let me go for the target section so let me go for target section so now i have to give the file name target right target underscore dept number 10 dot txt file i want to generate it i want to generate the output file as a target underscore dept number 10 dot txt file i want to generate it so now so now so i want in the column names in the my output my source is coming column names right same like that i want in the my output also what i have to select means there is one option first line is column names by default is the false is there i want output in the column names means we have to select as a true now so after selecting the column names we have to select go for the format so field separator column names i want this is a comma so i, I don't want in the any double quotes okay so let me make as a none i don't want any quotes let me make as a none now let me go for the columns automatically columns is propagated i don't want change anything click the okay button so now so let me save the job file and save the job control yes let me go for the so jobs nandini software solutions so let me give the demo nandini software nandini underscore software demo one okay so let me click the save button so now my development is ready my development is ready now i want to execute the process guys after development is done we have to run the process after running the process we need to see the output for that case first we need to compile the job so if there is any errors or not or there i need to check it for that case so there is a compile button is there here there is a compile option is there right so we need to click the compile button so click the compile 
So after clicking the compile, if there is any errors, it will display here. If there is no errors, so the job, so there is no, so job successfully compiled, no errors. So no errors. Now I want to execute the run the process. There is a run button, guys. So there is a run button. Click the run button. So let me run the job. So I'm running the job. So my job is running. So my job is running. My source having how many records, team? Eight records. My target is how many records are loaded, team? Three records. So why three records are loaded? I am filtering the data. I want to load only DEPT number 10 records. Let me go for output section. Let me go for output. Users, student, documents. So Venkata data stage, target folder. So this is the file right I want to generate. I have generated. When you see the output section, I want to see only DEPT number 10 records. Okay. Now, so I am getting the DEPT number 10 records. Okay. Is, is it my requirement is clear? My job is doing correctly or not, Tim? Okay. So now you guys tell me, I am reading the file. I am generating the output file as a DEPT number 10. I have 8 records. 3 records are condition is true loading it. The remaining records condition is not matching. So that records I want to generate another file. So I want to take another output file. So 3 records are loaded correctly. Valid records. So the remaining bad records right. My condition is not matching record. 5 records are there. Those 5 records I want to generate into another text file. Another text file. So I want to generate the another text file. So what is the stage I have to use team? Sequence. Sequential file. Let me go for file. We have to use sequential file. So I have to give the link right. So this is the main link. So I will give the rejected data. The rejected data I want to capture in this right. So right click this one. So there is a okay let. So I want I have to give the link right. So where I have to give it. So directly also I can give. So let me keep the cursor here. So I can directly give it. This is one option. Or else second option. Second option. So let me go for general link. There is a link button. Let me click this one link. Okay. So now this is a rejected link, right? So right, select this link. Select this link. So right click it. This is the rejected link, right? We need to click convert to reject. So tell me which is the main link, which is the reject link? How you are identifying? Which is the main output? Which is the rejected output? Can somebody tell me, guys? So there is a rejected showing dotted lines. Dotted lines, breaking the lines, right? It is breaking the lines. That is called as a reject link. So now, so double click the filter stage. So when you take the rejected output, when you take the rejected output, so in the filter stage, output reject, we have to make as a true. You don't need to write any condition. If you are taking the output as a rejected output, we have to come to the filter stage in the options. There is a output reject by default is a false. I have to make as a true. Okay. Click the OK button. So now let me go for the rejected output. I have to save the output in the somewhere, right? Let me browse the rejected output. So let me give, I will give the output rejected data dot txt. I will give rejected data dot txt. Data, right? Let me give data dot txt file. So now I want column names in the my rejected output. Column names. What I have to select them? First line is column names. False is there. I want in the output column names means what is the option I have to use team? True. We need to make as a true. Let me go for format section. You want any quotes? I don't want any quotes. Let me make as a none. So column names. So automatically it will come. Click the OK button. Let me save the job file and save the job. Now again I want to compile the job if there is any errors are there. So what I have to do team? There is a compile button is there. We have to click the compile. 
you need to click the compile is there any errors are there job successfully compiled with no errors let me close it now i want to run the process how to run the process so there is a run button right there is a run button click the run button so let me click the run button so my job is running now see this is a black color before running it right see after successfully finished see this is making as a what is the color this one green color okay so my source having eight records my condition is a dept number 10 loading three records the rejected data five records five plus three eight records my design is correct let me open the rejected output so i want to see the other than the dept number 10 records so is there any dept number 10 is coming here is there any 10 is coming no why because of i want to this is the rejected data. Other than the 10 DEPT number 10 records, I want to generate the another text file. Okay? So, this is the way to generate the another text file, rejected output file. See, see this output file I want in the double quotes. I want in the double quotes. What I have to do, team? So, here, rejected output. So, in the format section, here I want in the double quotes. Let me make it a double quotes. Click the OK button. If something is changed, again we have to compile it. Let me compile the job. So let me close it. Run the job. Let me run the job. My job is running. My job is running. Okay, let me go for our rejected output. The output I want in the double quotes. See? Rejected out. Is it coming team? Double quotes? See? Everything in coming in the double quotes. Suppose I want in the single quotes. My output I want in the single quotes. Okay. How to do the single quotes? We have to do in the format section, output section. Here in the quote section, I have to make as a single quotes. I don't want any quotes. Let me make as a none. Okay. So this is the way to generate the sample job. Are you understanding team? What I have to do? There is a one file. I have to read this file. This file is available in this path. After reading this file, we have to apply the filter condition. I want to load only DEPT number 10. One output I want to load into the DEPT number 10 records. Another output, the rejected data, I want to generate it. See my scenario now. Let me change one small change. So my output file I am getting. I am getting my output file DEPT number 10. I want to load. I want to read the file. I want to load into my output, main output, DEPT number 10. And, and condition guys. And DEPT number equal to 10 and ename equal to Venkat. Ename equal to Venkat. How many records it will load him? What is the use of and condition means? And means both conditions are true. Both conditions are true. Then only load the data. Okay? So both conditions are true. So this is the ename is true or false condition? False. So that's why it will not load it. What about this record? True or false? True condition. What about DEPT number 10 condition? True. So that's why I can load only one record. I want to load DEPT number equal to 10 and ename equal to Venkat record. I want to load it. How to load it? We'll see now, guys. So how to write the and condition? Go for the filter stage. So in the where class, there is a, we have to type and what is the column name? So if you have doubt, let me go for column section. So let me copy this employee name. Okay. So here, employee name equal to Venkat. In the single quotes, we have to write it. Venkat. Single quotes, we have to write it. Why we need to write the single quotes? If it is integer data type, you no need to define anything. If other than the integer means, we have to write in the single quotes. Kindly remember this option. Click the OK button. So now let me go for the file and save the job. 
under run the com first compile it we need to compile it let me compile the job so now let me close it let me run the job let me run the job so my job is running so i should get only one record right why we need to get one record we are using and condition and means both conditions are true then only load the data into the target see one record i am getting why i am getting one record see employee name condition should be true dpt number condition also should be true then only load the data suppose what is the use of r condition instead of and i want to give r condition r means if any one condition is r true maybe dpt number condition r true r employee name condition r true then load the data so how to give the r condition here let me so let me go for here let me change here instead of and let me give our condition or we have to give or so let me click the ok button let me save the job so after saving first what i have to do we need to compile the job let me compile the job so let me run the job let me run the job so my job is running so i will get more records why i will get more records so let me observe it because of our condition right so if any one condition is true load the data see so here here employee name is not equal to venkat even though i am getting why i am getting other condition dept number is true dept number 10 so that is the true condition that's why i am getting it so this is the way to generate the sample jobs guys okay are you understanding guys are you understanding see guys so from tomorrow onwards tomorrow onwards regular classes if you are anyone interested so call me my mobile number 9538160185 this is my phone pay number google pay number okay if you are interested the class regular class timings morning 8:30 am to 9:30 am ist guys ist means indian timing morning okay so you can enroll me if you're interested send me your email address to my whatsapp you can ping me in my whatsapp okay so so this is from nandini software solutions bangalore we have uh, offline and online classes running at the same timing i am sure that guys we will we will play 100 percent you will make you you will get the job test we are providing the recording classes documents whichever we are prepared uh, along with intro questions and answers i am going to explain it along with the real time scenarios i will cover it okay that real time scenarios if you learn this you can get the job easily i am providing full package you no need to learn anything other, other than that whichever i am teaching just learn it remember it get the job with good package with good company okay so i'm stopping for recording here any doubts feel free to ask me now guys